Welcome to the Ask the Experts show with local celebrity hosts, Steve-O and Renee. Sit back each week while Steve-O and Renee educate you with live in-studio experts, such as lawyers, doctors, home improvement, and financial experts in their field. Call in and have your questions answered each week at 888-565-1470. Now, here is Steve-O and Renee with today's expert in their field. Hey, you should get half your money back today because you just have Steve-O. My co-host, Renee, is in the hospital today, had her gallbladder removed, and I'm running solo, but I still have some great, great guests today. And as the experts, if you just tuned in for the first time, we have Florida's top experts in the areas of health, legal, financial, and home improvement. If you'd like to watch the show today live, Go to www.wwnnradio.com, click on the WNN TV on the left-hand side of the page, and voila, there we are. I am so excited about today's show. In the first half hour, we're going to talk about termites. Now, if you're not a homeowner, this might not be such a great show to you, but since we have so many of you guys who are homeowners, listen, what a termite can do to your house it is a nightmare and a horror story. We found the top pest control company. So we are, we're going to talk a little bit about pest control today, but we're also going to talk about termites and how to identify them and what's out there. We've got the biggest company. We have the owner, too. We bring you just the best. We have the owner, David Galvani. That's right. From Com Commander Pest Control. David was with us last month, and we got, wow, we got about 15 or 20 emails from you saying how much you loved having a show like this and how educational it was. So we're going to do this every month. David will be in studio. Hey, David, how you doing, bro? How, how are you? Man, it's good to have you in. You have such great energy. I wanted to tell you that last time. Well, I like being here. Yeah. So um, tell us a little bit, first of all, about yourself, because you are the president of the company, and then tell us how you, how all about Commander Pest Control. Well, I've been in business in South Florida for over 20 years now. I was in business in New York City also. I did pest control there. And our main business down in South Florida is termite control. As you know, we have a lot of bugs in Florida. Oh, I know that. We were just talking about that. Um, a lot of ants, too. Lots. Oh, my God, a lot of ants. But, man, the ants we can control, but the termites, wow, that is a huge problem, isn't it? Yeah, the termites will destroy your home. They'll do a lot of destruction. You know, I want to tell people also that probably don't know is about licensing. You can't just go out there and put a shingle up and say you do pest control. No. State has certain requirements, yeah, don't yeah, they? It's very, very hard to get the licenses to do pest control. But there's also four licenses. So necessarily the guy that sprays your house with the can of bug spray is not necessarily a termite inspector <laughs> or a company allowed to treat for termites. So people have to be really careful about that. You know. Yeah, I mean, I remember the, the old <laughs> spray. <Right. laughs> wow, I'm really dating myself. By the way, um, if you'd like to email me with a question also, you can email me at Stephen, that's S-T-E-V-E-N, at AskTheExperts, plural, AskTheExpertsRadioShow.com if you have a question for David. We just have all kind of bugs down here, spiders, uh, flies, and gosh, <laughs> When they get in the house, you're really in trouble. I actually woke up one morning with a bump on my head. We found we had one mosquito that I guess bit me during the night. But, wow, I mean, it's we just got a little bit of everything down here, don't we? Yeah, the heat and humidity just brought, brings bugs from all, from everywhere. Every bug you can think of we have here in South Florida. Is there a... Uh, I wanna, we're going to mainly talk on termites today, but you also do um, lawns also spray yes. for... Bugs, lawns, and I got to tell you, I know this now by heart. When um, before I met David, we had some company that would come in and spray the house for ants, and boy, did we have ants! But we kept getting them back all the time, and I finally realized that wait a minute, we're just spraying the inside, but not the outside, yeah, which very, is where they're important. coming from. Yeah. I mean, that tells you've really got to understand who you're hiring. So. 
I mean, tell us a little bit. Let's talk a little bit about lawn spraying first. Okay, well, even lawn spraying or if you have ants inside the home, you have to really find out where the ants are coming from. Generally, they're going to be coming from the outside. So spraying the inside is all great, but you need to find out where they're harboring out, where they're coming from. And every insecticide doesn't work on every different ant. There's sugar-feeding ants, protein-feeding ants. There's some sprays that you have to spray that the ants will actually carry back to the colony. So it's not, you know, one size fits all. You really have to find out what kind of problem you're having. And, so what you know, do you do locate. when you come out to a lawn? What do you, I mean, well, are you looking inspect, for all the... We're, we're going to inspect first, find out what kind of insects you have, if any, identify exactly what kind of ant it is or whatever it is that your problem you're having. It's very, very important to know exactly what you're dealing with, and then we go from there. Well, I've got an email coming. We're kind of talking ants and termites. How do you, here's the question, how do you tell the difference between an ant with wings and a termite? Well, that's very simple. Well, for one, when you, when you look at an ant, it's going to look like it has a three-part body to the naked eye. When you look at a termite, it's only going to look like it has a two-part body, meaning segments. An ant will have three, three specific segments to it. A termite does have three, but to the naked eye, it only looks like two. Also, the wings on a termite are one and a half times the length of the body, whereas an ant, the wings are about the same length as the body. Wow. So, okay, because so, they do sort of look similar, I guess. That's what this, this person's asking. So they, they, look, they look very similar. And what type of insects do you normally control when you come out? What type of insects do we have down here in the South Florida area? Well, we, Command Pest Control basically controls all insects that we have in South Florida. What do but you I see a say, lot of? Well, common, obviously termites are very common, and then ants is the next common insect that you're going to have. And you also have cockroaches and palmetto bugs, like he oh. likes to call them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those things aren't, shouldn't be classified as a bug. Uh, and we've all seen those, the big palmetto, but they're not really palmettos, are they? No, they're actually cockroaches. They're right? actually just, so, <laughs> see, in South Florida, like in Boca, they're... <laughs> palmetto we, bugs. Yeah, they're palmetto. <laughs> if you go, I guess, somewhere else, they're <laughs> boiting, they're probably cockroaches. cockroaches. I got you. <laughs> I got you. You know, I want to go back to the four types of licenses, because I'm sure that People have no idea. I would have never known that there's four different types of licenses that you need. So, and I probably wouldn't even ask anybody. That's how dumb I am when it comes to some. So, tell people about the four licenses. Well, most people don't realize that, but there is four licenses. First one is general household pest control. That's generally what you would have if you just sprained the inside of a home or just the outside of the home, not including the lawn. Then the other license is for lawn and ornamentals, where you may spray a lawn and you also spray the ornamental plants around the outside of a home. Then you also have a termite license, which allows you to inspect and treat termites. If you just have one of the other licenses, you can't do that. And then you also have the last license, which is fumigation, which only somebody with a fumigation can actually put the tent on a house to get rid of the termites. That's really the only way you can get rid of them. Well, there's many different ways, but that is... But the, the tent is the most common, isn't it? Yes, and it's fumigation. actually the most effective way to get rid of a dry wood termite. See, what I want to do is I want people to understand that when these people come to their door, and listen, we get all kind of cards on our doors and everything, you have to start becoming smarter about this. You know, we would love for you to hire Commander. Why do I keep calling you Commander? I have no idea. It's Command. <laughs> Why? For some reason, I wanted to call you Commander, I guess because you are the Commander. <laughs> but it, it, people put cards, just put cards on your doors. That right there to me is a red flag, okay? That's not a professional way to do business. You know what? You call the people up. You come to their door. If they're not home, then go somewhere else. But people don't understand what they should be asking of companies, red flags to look for. So kind of tell us. Well, it's very important. When you have a company come out, you want to make sure that they are licensed in the field of exterminating with the one you're having a problem with. If you need somebody just to spray it inside your home, well, then it's fine to have a GHP license. But if you're having somebody do termite work, you have to make sure they have a termite license. There's a lot of pest control guys who will say, yeah, yeah, I can treat that. But they're not allowed, and they're not trained, and they're not certified by the state of Florida to do so. So they need to start asking questions. Absolutely. Besides just how much, because how much is not always the best. <laughs> um, and now there's different types of termites here in South Florida. Is that right? That's right. We have many different types. Uh, the most common one is dry wood termites, which actually fly into your home. You know, on a windy day, they're not very good flies, but a windy day will take the termites during swarm season from one house to another. That's the one you commonly see the houses tented for. 
Then you have another termite, the subterranean termite, which come up from the ground. And then you have the king of all termites down here, the Formosan termite, which will actually burrow through concrete to get to the wood in your house. That's amazing that you said it because we just got a question. Our next door neighbor has cement foundation and they have termites. So we live next door. Should we have someone come out to test for permite for termites? Absolutely. So if someone's got it next door. Yeah, you don't necessarily have them, but it's a good idea to have somebody come out and check. It doesn't cost you anything to have a company come out and check normally uh, if they're just going to come out and just to see what you have, you know. Gotcha. Now, I'm going to put you on the spot, and I do this to everybody. Tell every all of our listeners out there, why should they hire Command Pest Control? Well, Command Pest Control has been in business in South Florida for 20 years. Good start. Okay. All of my technicians are personally trained by me, and they also go out in the field, which they, by law they have to, for normally two weeks. We have everybody go out in the field for one month before we even think of sending them on their own. The termite inspectors is a whole other thing. They have at least six months before they ever go out, and they're all trained by me. And periodically, I also go out with them. And besides that, if you have a problem, you need, it's not happening for you, but not getting rid of your problem, you call the office, you say, hey, I need to speak to Dave, and I'll come out to your house and take care of the problem for you. Is there a package that people can buy that has a warranty and everything where you come out like every couple of months or every three months? Well, we do have, that's for pest control. We have a yearly pest control agreement, which will come out, will treat your house the attic, you, we even treat behind your outlets in the home. Spray the inside of your home and spray the outside. We do that one time a year, and then we come out quarterly and spray the outside of the home. The great thing about that, you don't need to be home only one time a year. And if you do develop a problem inside the house, we come back at your convenience, and there's no charge any time throughout the year. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So, and then if you do termites, and do you come back, check, make sure everything's still okay? If we tent fumigate a house, there's really not a reason to come back, but we do always advise everybody to have us come back at least once a year. It's a good idea to keep your renewal. When we do a liquid treatment, which is another type of treatment uh, besides tent fumigate, if it's the same termite, we'll come What out. determines that? What determines what kind of treatment you're going to give a house that has termites? Well, in order to do a liquid treatment on a house, you have to be able to get to the affected areas. Some houses have very small attics. Some have no attics. Uh, you know, if we can get to the area, then we can do a liquid treatment versus tenting it. And also, some people don't want to have the house tented, no matter no matter what. Really? Well, there's a lot of work involved. You have to take all the food out of your house. That's right. You have right. to be out of your house for three days and two nights. You have to cut the foliage back away from the house, because when we cover the house in a tent, any plants under the tent will die. So there's a couple different variables, but for those of you who are watching, let's see. I'm doing it with my hands now. Let's uh. see. Let's see. Three days out versus. My house being demolished. Let's see, I think I'll take the three days. Well, Let's give everybody your phone number if they'd like to call and okay. make an appointment. And I, I'm going to tell you, that what's so great about this show is you don't have to go out there and Google, okay? That's our always been our biggest thing. We have the best right here. So give them your phone number. Okay, it's 954-943-0008. And you've got really a great website. Your webmaster did a wonderful job. What is your website address? It's www.commandpestcontrol.com. Okay, we're going to go to our first break. And we come back, we're really going to talk a lot about termites. We will be right back. Don't let pests, rodents, and termites get the best of you. Call Command Pest Control today. When it's time to spray your lawn and keep those pests off your property, call Command Pest Control at 954-943-0008. Command Pest Control provides exceptional pest control in Broward and Palm Beach counties, so schedule a free inspection today. They specialize in all types of termite control, rodent control, and general pest control. Let their qualified staff protect your home and property from the damage and cost associated with common Florida pest infestation. Command Pest Control has been servicing the Broward and Palm Beach area for over 20 years with their qualified and licensed staff. Call them today at 954-943-0008. That's 954-943-0008 for peace of mind. At Command Pest Control, their goal is to offer you 100% customer satisfaction. For more information, please visit commandpestcontrol.com. 
And we're back. You know, I forgot to tell you, we had another email. I hope this is a legit email. How do you know if you have bed bugs? Oh. Is that I mean, <laughs> what a question? Well, generally, you're not going to see them when you first get them. You, you may go visit somebody, stay in a hotel, whatever, and you're going to bring them back. Basically, bed bugs are freeloaders, so you don't even know if you bring them back from oh somewhere, somewhere you stay. But generally happens, you're going to get start noticing bites on your body. Could be your arm, your neck, your leg. It doesn't matter. Okay. And normally what you'll see is three bites in a row. You'll start getting bit every night. You won't know what it is. But if you start noticing like three bites in a row, the joke in the pest control is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But three little red dots or three bites in a row, you'll have at different areas around your body. And it's certainly a good idea to have somebody come out yeah. and check. So what do you do if people have bed bugs? I mean, first, you're actually checking them before you, I mean, you actually look in the bed? Well, yeah, you have to look in the bed. Uh, you have to peel back the sheet. You what do they look, look like? They look like little black bugs. That's it. And if you look really close, you'll see them moving. Um, and they could be on the headboards. They actually, behind the headboards, all different areas. And lay they a lot of eggs? Lay a lot of eggs. Oh. And they're nocturnal. Wow. So you, they only come out at night. They come out when you're sleeping. Every time you exhale, it calls them. Wow. So what's the process of getting well, rid of them? Well, same thing as always. First, you have to go out and inspect, see how bad the problem is. Okay, a good thing people will do is really keep the house has to be very, let's say, tidy, for lack of better terms. Not that they like a dirty house, bed bugs, or a clean house, but you want to put all your stuff inside plastic containers because bed bugs can't climb. Um, And then we'll we'll actually go out and take a look and see what kind of problem you have. You can spray the mattress and this type of thing. Uh, When they want to advise a homeowner that they need to put all their bed linens and their clothes in a dryer on high heat for a minimum of 20 minutes take everything out of the dry and put them in plastic containers with covers. Between that and the treatment, after three visits, we'll be able to get rid of the termites. Or you can also tent fumigate <clears throat> your home if the problem is very bad. Wow, so there's, there's a process to this thing, yes. just like everything else. Um, I wanted, listen, when termites could become very expensive process, especially if you let it go and don't take care of it. First of all, what can people do to prevent termites? Is there anything that can be done? Oh, absolutely. For dry with termites, you want to make sure that all the wood or the fascia board and the soffits on your outside of your home are caulked and you paint them periodically. Once a year, two years, three years, whatever it is. When you start seeing cracking in your paint, it needs to be painted. You want to make sure all your window screens are in, all your soffit vent screens are in. You want to make sure you don't have any water leaks in your house, any pipe leaks, windows leaks. That will draw subterranean termite. So basically keep your house in good maintenance good working condition and what's know. the most destructive termite a formosan termite those are the worst that's just a type of subterranean termite and those if you have <clears> a, a small leak let's say on your roof you may not even know you may see signs of formosan termites down you know near the baseboards but actually the main colony is up by your roof wow and they're just feeding on your roof trusses and you can grab them with your hand and your roof truss will just fall apart and we definitely have we definitely have the humidity down here. We definitely have water down here. Right. Um, we just had a person ask a question about their lawn that is seeing brown spots. Okay. Is that from bugs? Yeah, it could be, sure. Okay. It could be from chinch bug. It could be from a type of fungus. The same thing with something like that. It's always good to give us a call. Be happy to come out. There's no charge for us to come out and take a look. We'll tell you exactly what problem you're having, if any, and how to fix it. Sometimes it's as simple as fertilize a problem. Somebody put too much fertilizer in one area, not enough in another. Water problem, wind time they're watering lawn, this type of thing. It's just a good idea to have us come out and check it out for you. Listen, it's, <laughs> I tell you, especially when you have a wife that's scared of spiders, hates ants, hates cockroaches. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you guys, you want to get this taken care of. This is a problem you don't want to let get away. Um, let's get back to termites now. So tell me what the process is. I call you up and I say, I think I have termites. You send someone out. First of all, do you cover Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach? Yes. Okay, so you cover all three counties. That's right. When someone calls, how soon can you get someone out there? Oh, generally we can have some. Sometimes we can get out there the same day, but definitely we'll have somebody out there the following day. Okay, so that's reassuring. So you come out to the house. What's the first thing you do? Well, we're going to ask the customer exactly what are you having, and we'll take a look at that area first. 
and we'll see what kind of problem they have in there. And then we'll also do a full termite inspection around the house, see what else they have going on, you know. Because even if somebody says, hey, I think I have a termite problem, and they show us something that may just be ants, while we're there, we'll take a look around the rest exactly. of the house and see if there's anything else going on for them. Okay, so now you've found the problem. What's the next step? Well, then we tell them how we can go ahead okay. and fix it for them and what the different processes, if they have any options. If there is an option to really do a liquid treatment, some houses, it's just not an option. The, the problem's too far gone. We can't get to it. The only option is to tent fumigate the house. If it's dry, we turn. If it's subterranean or Formosan, we go ahead and explain the process for that. We will drill around the outside of the house and inject the termiticide into the ground around the home. What's, how long is the process? And it could be three days? Yeah, when you okay. tent fumigate a home, it's three days, three days and two nights. Meaning, let's just say if we came out to your house on a Monday to put the tent up, the tent would come up on a Monday, the tent would come down on Tuesday, and Wednesday we go back to your house and check your house with a gas meter to make sure there's no more gas inside your home or Vicane gas. Make sure it's safe for you to re-enter your home. You know, I want to do this one more time. Is let's talk about preventative measures again, because listen, that's where it's got to start at is preventive measures. So let's just kind of reiterate about what people should do to keep from getting termites. Okay, you yeah, you want to make sure your fascia boards and the soffits around your house are caulked and they stay painted. You want to always, don't let your paint start peeling. You want to make sure all the soffit screens little screens on the bottom of your soffit around your roof line. You have good screens in there, no holes. If you somebody opens up your windows a lot in the winter, you want to make sure you have screens on it. You want to make sure you don't have any leaks around your home or any leaking pipes. Even your condensate line from your AC is a very major problem with subterranean termites. You want to make sure it's away from your house a little bit. Some people have it dripping right down the side of the house, the condensate line, and that's where the termites are going to feed, and that's where they're going to enter your house in that area. Well, give people a ballpark because every house is different. Give us a ballpark about costs for getting rid of termites. Well, there's many different termites. I exactly. would, if I had to guess a ballpark for an average size home in South Florida to tent fumigate it, a good ballpark is anywhere from let's say nine hundred and fifty dollars to let's say twelve hundred dollars. You know, a ballpark for an right. average size home. A subterranean termite treatment is somewhere around the same, somewhere between eight hundred and eleven hundred dollars depending on the size of the home. Could be a little bit more, could be a little bit less, but that's a good ballpark. You're like the guy you can either pay me now or pay me later, Pay right? me later. <laughs> exactly. So, listen, if you think, even if you're wrong, it's important to get somebody like David's company out there just for, if anything, for reassurance, because tell people about the damage termites do. Well, termites will do, they do millions of dollars worth of damage every year or billions of dollars worth of damage. A dry wood termite does do less damage in your home. The homes that you see tent, they do do less damage, but they do also do significant damage where you're going to have to have them taken care of. A subterranean termite will actually do structural damage to your home in a very short amount of time. I'm talking your roof could actually become unstable. That's uh, how bad they can eat your home. Uh, you know, people say to us, the big one we get, well, my house is made out of cinder blocks. It's made out of CVS block construction. I can't have termites. Well, your roof is wood. But people don't really realize that, yes, you have concrete block walls, but the major part of your house, which is the roof, is all made out of wood. So the damage is serious. How about those fences out there that are made of wood? There's a lot of fences out there that they could actually start, the termites could actually start on the fence, couldn't they? Yes, but they really don't because a lot of times the fences are pressure treated lumber or they're made out of cedar. Which termites will eat cedar, but it's not their favorite wood, let's just say. <laughs> it's right. like a, they have a menu now. <laughs> um, now, I just had a question. Someone just asked about pets and spraying the house. Does that hurt the pets at all? It doesn't. It doesn't hurt the pets. I know we've come a long way. Right. Well, 30 all, years ago, you had to go take the dogs and the well, cats away. Well, yeah, and today, none of our chemicals really smell. They, they all have the EPA approved. Not that your pet can lick it or anything, but right. it's always a good idea when you have the pest control technician come in your house and spray. You want to make sure that you keep your pets away from any of the insecticide that's wet until the area dries. Once How it's long? dry, it doesn't take long, 15, 20 minutes, something okay. like that, it'll be dry. The same thing when you get your lawn sprayed. By law, we actually have to put a stake and a little sign in your lawn that says I've seen those. 
keep off your lawn until it's dry. Exactly. But other than that, it, it's really fine. And I've never seen a dog or a cat or any other pet actually try to lick the insecticide anyhow. Uh, they just don't. But it's just a good idea, you know, air caution to keep them away from it. How about dry. people with health issues when it comes to exterminating a house? Do they, is it better they leave? Because nowadays people can stay. They don't you have to leave. You can stay in the house. I always advise if you have any health concern, it's always advisable, leave. You leave, you come back in a couple hours. And if you have some serious health concerns, lung issues or whatever, you want to point that out to the technicians out there. And if you happen to get a technician that maybe doesn't really know what you're talking about or maybe doesn't seem to educate it, it's probably a good idea then to call the company and find out, hey, I have some concerns. These are some health issues I have. Should I leave or not? And let's just say you can't get anybody on the phone. At command, you'll get somebody, but let's just say another company can't. It's always a good idea to leave or wait outside the house on your back patio, whatever, until everything dries. Just always, always better to be safe than sorry. You know, I'm from I'm from Texas, so we have lots and lots of rodents. I don't see that many mice down here, but I see a lot of rats. A lot of rats. <laughs> so, of rats. do you also do, you we also do rodents too? Yes, we also take care of rodents. Big it, problem. Is it really? I, and, and the rats are big well, too. Poker at home. <laughs> yeah. Um, and how do you treat, like someone who has rats, well, how do you treat those? Well, as always, we go out and inspect the property. You want to look for the areas where the rats are getting in, and you want to seal those areas off. You can put as many traps in the home as you want, but if you keep, if you leave the holes open where they're coming in and out of the home, you're never going to get rid of the problem. So you definitely want to find out where they're getting in from, close up the areas, set the traps in the home, and then that's it. Probably I have to care. ask you a crazy, crazy question. We are inundated with these iguanas. Do you ever have people call you to try to get rid yes, of iguanas? Yes, but I can't help you out with that. Okay. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> but it's like one day there's two, the next day there's 50 of them. They seem to multiply. Yeah, uh, pest control operators, we can't do anything with them. Okay. Um, so you, your specialty is termites. Yes. And I can't believe it. Who would ever think a show about pest control would be so interesting and go by so fast? Let's give everybody your phone number again. Okay, it's 954-943-0008. And your website address? Yes, it's www.commandpestcontrol.com. And listen, we have not just uh, one of the employees. We have David on with us every month. And this is all to save you from having to Google. That's the worst. I mean, it's great that we have Google for many things. But when it comes to something like this, how are you going to trust who you're Googling? So what we do here with Ask the Experts is we bring you in the best. So make sure you write command pest control down because you never know. Someday, could be two days from now, you're going to need a company like David's. So one more time, give them the phone number. 954 943 Zero 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 eight, and our website is www.commandpestcontrol.com. Bro, I'm so glad to have you come on every I'm month. Very happy to. Yeah, man. So um, we will be going to break right now, and in the second half, uh, the IRS uh, probably listening right now, so I better not say anything. But we have the president of Taxation Solutions on with this. So if you think you have an IRS problem, this is a best best of show to listen to. We will see you on the other side. Don't let pests, rodents, and termites get the best of you. Call Command Pest Control today. When it's time to spray your lawn and keep those pests off your property, call Command Pest Control at 954-943-0008. Command Pest Control provides exceptional pest control in Broward and Palm Beach counties, so schedule a free inspection today. They specialize in all types of termite control, rodent control, and general pest control. Let their qualified staff protect your home and property from the damage and cost associated with common Florida pest infestation. Command Pest Control has been servicing the Broward and Palm Beach area for over 20 years with their qualified and licensed staff. Call them today at 954-943-0008. That's 954-943-0008 for peace of mind. At Command Pest Control, their goal is to offer you 100% customer satisfaction. For more information, please visit commandpestcontrol.com. Do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more?